Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more of the Dio Field Chronicle and uh, we need to go and talk to Isolaire. So let's go and do that. Okay, this is a new room. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. Look at this place. Oh! Ah, uh, there you are. Take a look at this. What's this? I have to tell the truth. Well, apparently Duke Hende had it brought in specially to improve our abilities. It automatically designs a training regiment based on the user's experiences in battle. Hmm. And, uh, what hmm? was the other thing again? <laughs> ah, never mind. It makes us stronger is what counts. Skill tree so unlocked. That means... Some kind of modern magic, is it? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Magalumic orb research, weapon development, and our skill tree. The skill tree allows you to upgrade skills using SP, skill points. Increase the skill tree's rank to unlock new skills. Uh, SP are acquired as bonus rewards on missions or as unit, uh, unit rank, as a unit rank rewards? Or as unit rank rewards. Okay, I just read that weird. Each character has a unit type that determines their fighting style. Soldiers. Holds the front line, protecting allies. Cavalier. Uses its mobility to disrupt the enemy. Sharpshooter. Attacks from afar. And Magiker. Supports allies with magic. Okay. So there's not technically... I mean, I guess Soldier is basically your tanks, right? But it's definitely the case that Isolaire had a better def defense stat than uh, our boy did, so... Cool, okay. Alright, 3 SP. Required 1. How much does it go up on the next one? Um, it doesn't look like it says until we unlock it. Okay, required SP is 1. It also has levels. Level 1 acquire formation skill, shield wall. Erect a barrier of shields and inflict provoke on enemies in the target area. And this is for Rius, right? Oh, they're class based. They're not character based, they're the class entirely. Interesting, okay, cool. Um, one SP to keep moving, but since they gave us three, I'm wondering if maybe we should just get the base of each of these uh, trees that we have currently. We don't have a Magicker yet. Alright, so what does this do? Deal damage to enemies in the target area and knock them back. Mounted charge. Acquire formation skill. Okay, and then for our ranged units, assume a fantail formation and continuously attack the target area. Oh, we've already got that. Then maybe we should get this one. We're probably going to get a magicker soon. Heal all allies in the target area while the skill is active and fill up the rescue gauge for incapacitated allies in the target area. All right. Can I tell you something? So, what do you make of it? Aye. Well, it gives suggestions for combat techniques, analyses, areas to work on. Uh, There's so much so. there, I almost can't believe it. That's just amazing! Well, that's what you get when you have a duke on your side. Hope it'll help me improve my skills, too. You know, that reminds me... By the way, Lorraine said she wanted your feedback on it. Along with that... Commander Jordan seemed worked up about something, too. Unnervingly so. <sighs> well, sounds ominous. Suppose I'd better report in. I love the 2D art for these characters, man. Whoever that artist is... Top notch, dude. Top notch. Okay, attack ups on those. Hats give you extra defense. Boots give you HP. 
necklaces. Technique. I'm guessing that technique increases your skill abilities, but I don't know that for sure yet. And increases luck with rings. Okay. I'm gonna buy one of those. Well, the plan worked out beautifully. You've always had a flair for tactics, Rias. Do me proud. Here's to many more victories. I see it now. Yeah, this place is certainly well appointed. It seems the Duke likes to provide for his people. How does that sound? Well, did you try out the new device? Aye. I did. It will be a great boon to the unit. Understood. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'll tell, I'll tell Duke Ende. He's standing right there. He probably heard. More importantly, you'll have to tell him later. Oh. Yolzim and the Duke are, are they different characters? For some reason, I think I thought Yolzim was the Duke. Maybe he is. Is he Hende Yolzim or Yolzim Hende? You are the Duke, right? <laughs> oh no. You'll have to tell him later. We have a mission to be thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save the details for the briefing, but to put it simply, you'll be clearing up a mess. Hey! Take a seat when you're ready. We'll start in a moment. Mission unlocked. The Cool. Those are really fast, man. <laughs> Maybe a little too fast. Also, I almost want the brightness to be up a little bit higher. It seems a little low, doesn't it? Maybe that's too high? Let's take a look. No, that's good. So, the Redditch Estate Recon. Defeat all enemies. Defeat condition, barricade destroyed. Okay, we have a defense mission. All allies defeated. Allow no allies to fall. Complete the mission within four minutes. And there's a treasure chest. We have, uh, we have reports that Southfield is in disarray following the wane of House Redditch's influence in the area. Find out what's going on. This mission comes at the behest of House Redditch, one of Alatane's oldest families. I like that these are all voiced. This prestigious family has had a strong association with Southfield for a long time and currently finds itself in crisis. It's a nice touch. It seems the Daglant's Traders Union, their former affiliates, has raised the flag of rebellion, and they're now embroiled in a bitter conflict. How dare those traders bite the hand that feeds them? Assisting nobles, are we? Not my cup of tea, but I suppose this kind of thing can't be allowed. House Redditch has long maintained an intimate relationship with the royal government. They prop up the commerce of the entire region. Duke Hende is helping House Redditch in order to have them in his debt. Isn't that so? That's the way of it, yes. Now you must make for the Redditch estate without delay. Lady Walter Quinn Redditch, who brought this request to our unit, is due to take you there herself. Lady Walter Quinn, if you would be so kind. What a name, dude. And here's our mage, our healer. Greetings, everybody. My name is Walter Quinn Redditch. Forgive my intrusion. I had to flee Southfield at a moment's notice. I should be glad to escort you to the Redditch estate myself. I will do what I can to assist you in any way. You have our thanks, but your assistance won't be needed. Those traders and any of that Southfield rabble are ruffians. This will be a good opportunity to bring them to heel. Very well. All is clear. Then if you could prepare to depart at once, please.
Dude, these diorama maps are really cool looking. This game has a really unique visual style and I'm digging it a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Central field cell swords, are ya? What have you dogs come here for? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked because I'm here to kick your ass, bro. I'm gonna knock that top hat right off your fucking head. You are from the Daglands Traders Union, correct? Curse you, Zachariah. You cozied up to my dear father only to betray him. Have you no shame? <laughs> well, if I ain't young Lady Redditch, so quick to find new islands. We're up, my lady. It is not too late to come to an agreement. You should stand down if you value your lives. Stand down, you must be taking the mink. Come on, lads, let's get to work. Okay. Well, well, if it isn't the government's flea-ridden hands coming to foul our turf. There doesn't seem to be any prospect of negotiation. We will have to make a stand here. The barricades should hold against some of their attacks, but they won't last very long. Oh, I just noticed we don't have easel air. We mustn't allow the enemy to reach the mansion. It won't be easy. They'll attack in great numbers. Brace yourselves. Okay. Edit unit to select which characters will be deployed on a mission. Each unit has a leader and an adjutant. The leader determines the unit's attributes and skills while the adjutant adds extra skills. The character set as the adjutant earns less experience. That's cool. Okay, um, that's what I was gonna do anyways, actually, is I was gonna adjutant these two together. Maybe... Um, does, how do I know what the extra skills are that we're getting from the adjutant? That's what I need to know. If I remove you... Okay, so I think... Shield wall, shield bash, and shield charge. Defense 32. Yeah, maybe agitanting the two of you because you're my highest defense now. So you're going to be my tank, which means that uh, if Ezelair is just giving you shield bash and shield charge, which seems to be the case, um, then that should be great. Um, it doesn't seem there, like there's a stat bonus, but we pick up the skills. Okay, so we can't actually change equipment on Easelair, or Walter Quinn. that. Oh, this is the skill tree. Gotcha. I've got it. a singular target, right? Here it goes. I'll take you down. On my way. And what do you have? So you have hurried heal. Okay, 30%, cool. Deal regular damage to enemies in the target area and convalescent circle. Heal all allies in the target area while the skill is active and fill up the rescue gauge for incapacitated allies in the target area. Very cool. 
I might save the EP. We're doing okay right now. They just died. I understand. Yet another foe defeated. Show no fear! Destroy them! All right, I see an explosive keg over there. So far, so good. But they don't like determination. Um, I wish I knew offhand what each of these did. So this one I think is EP. Well, I don't know actually. I don't know which one's EP and which one. This one has got to be for the bottom right hand bar, right? It's got to be. Um, you way. go get that. You Very grab well. that. Understood. No, 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 no. Right away. Understood. I've got it. Maybe? Will we make it in time? Nice. Understood. Next time. There's only a handful of them. Split up for a pincer attack. They've regrouped to approach us from two directions. We can take out one group and then the other, or split up and attack both at once. Choose whatever tactics you think best. Onwards. Health-wise, we're not doing too bad. Okay, they're gonna have to pass through this area, so if I do this, they'll continually walk through it, right? If they get close enough, I may do shield wall. Understood. Understood. We'll hold them here. I've got it. So our cooldown isn't per ability, it's, there's just a straight up cooldown, gotcha. I thought it was like you could use an ability and that ability had its own specific cooldown, but that does not appear to be the case. So you're the only one, nope, you just unlocked yours. You think you can escape? And you've got one. Ah, they just died. Target eliminated. Okay, we're gonna do the same <laughs> thing to you guys. On my way. Um, where is our chest, by the way? Okay, it's over there. I understand. Right away. Understood. Go. 
pushed forward. Next. Fire! Enemy down. Now it's only Zachariah and his henchmen. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Wait. Something doesn't feel right. Absolutely the, unexpected. The dead have risen. The fallen dead have risen once more. Why are they attacking their Daglan's comrades? Oh, geez. Four of them are coming this way. Okay. So, on my way. We do have a Bahama. We're doing pretty well on health right now, so... Okay, they seem to be pretty weak to fire, it looks like. Yeah. Friendly fire in these? Nice there probably is, right? Target eliminated. Seize victory! And we have another Bahama. Here they come again. Understood. Get that. We're gravely outnumbered. I fear we'll be. Do not lose spirit. There are no more corpses after these. We must hold out. Okay, and then square. Ah, I see. Away. Right 
Understood. Yes, I think this will do. I understand. You think you can escape? Take you down. Next target. Go. I've got it. Understood. Zachariah is nowhere to be seen. Was he perhaps able to flee? The undead attack gave him the chance to evade us, and evade interrogation. Oh. Cool mission. Hell yeah, dude. We did that in two minutes? Okay. It would seem I've grown stronger. There doesn't seem to be any signs of life. Do you know where your family are, Lady Walter Quinn? They sent me away when the danger became apparent. I don't know what has become of them. That doesn't sound good. That could be really bad. We'll check the house, but I don't think we'll find anyone alive in there. Damn, dude. Keep it, keep it down. It's her family we're talking about. No survivors, regrettably. Perhaps they suffered the same fate as the traders. Hmm. We must discover what caused the dead to rise like that. What do you mean? They're just monsters, aren't they? Fred, tell me what monster materializes like that. No, this is some yet unknown phenomenon. Or a scheme of man. Lady Walter Quinn. Any insights for us? Hmm. I do not. And yet you do possess considerable power, milady. Is ancient sorcery passed down through your house? No, there's no such sorcery in House Redditch, to my knowledge. I acquired my powers during my time in the church. During your time in the church? Is that so? Walter Quinn, if you've nowhere else to go, would you perhaps join our unit? Oh, yes. What on earth are you proposing? She's nobility, through and through. <laughs> I gratefully accept your offer, my dear Andreas Rondesen. Oh my. Damn, is she flirting? Yes. Well, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> hmm. She knows he's nobility. She can smell it on him. She can taste the it in the air. The unit's latest recruit is the adept magicker. Lady Walter Quinn, the sole surviving member of the prestigious House Redditch. Many Such good thought duty her are... unsuitable for mercenary life, given her aristocratic background. But she quickly proves her value in battle, gaining the trust of Frederick and Andreas. House Redditch had many unofficial ties to the landowning nobility of Centralfield. And these connections were said to have given them the ear of the Lord's Council. This ten-man organization is a powerful body made up of officials selected from powerful families. Its role is to serve the kingdom by advising the king. Each Lord Councillor also leads a faction made up of lower nobles who seek their protection. The unit returned from Southfield to find a request waiting for them from Biltar Village. Get 
Okay. The rewards aren't super high yet. We'll have to see how that goes. Also, so is this our progress bar right here? Must be. Oh look, unit rank. Rank 2 unlocks ability use. Rank 3 unlocks new learnable abilities. Rank 4 increases SB by 10. Interesting, okay. Rank 5 unlocks new learnable abilities. Huh, okay. We got rank 2 pretty fast, but it looks like it's going to take us quite a bit longer to get to rank 3. It's going to be exponential. New unit member. Waltequin Redditch. A young noblewoman from House Redditch, elegant in appearance and bold on the battlefield. She excels at casting supportive and restorative spells from the unit's rear. Hmm. You wanted to talk to me alone. What is it? As before. Well, we've had a request from the citizenry, and it could be quite a tricky one to resolve. The truth is... Apparently, villagers have been, uh, have been being abducted and put to work in a brothel. But what about... A brothel run by Count Horus. He's associated with Lord Kimball of the Lord's Council. So that means... Uh, this could be tricky if we handle it poorly. <sighs> Precisely. Which is why the commander seems disinclined to accede to this particular request. Ah, huh, I suppose so. I understand. Commander Jordan has his own interests to bear in mind. Uh, but perhaps there is some way we could encourage him to lend his aid. Hmm. Enlist the help of someone with friends in high places, you mean? This should do it. I think I know just the person. Leave the matter with me. Is that all right? You will help? Then I will gladly accept. Subquest, hell yeah. Subquests do not contribute towards your main quest progress. Among subquests are character quests that will progress the stories of characters you have befriended. You can check your current quests from the quest list on the main menu. Okay, so our current quest is talk to Waltequin, but is there a way for us to target a secondary quest? Coin for comrades, talk to mercenary? Is this the one? Maybe? Maybe not? No, it must be. Um, because the yellow flag has always been main quest, so this other icon, this green uh, scroll, must be subquests. So, let's see. R2, map. Is there... Yep, there's a marker for the subquest right there. Good. Well, well, well. Well, I admire Walt Quinn's medal. Hmm. The terrible tragedy of losing her family hasn't broken her spirit. She never shows her grief. Yeah, she didn't show much of any emotions after finding out that her family's gone. <laughs> All things considered. She kind of flirted with me, actually. Wow. Well, Walt Quinn has incredible charisma. No wonder everyone wants to be her friend. As you stand outside the door, peeking around the corner, wishing to be her friend. Have you a moment, Walt Quinn? Of course. What is it, Andreas? It's about the next mission. It seems there have been some complications. Complications? The kinds that nobles tend to have. I see. Complications of prestige, then? Or wealth? Or perhaps both? You seem to have the idea. Now, I wouldn't want to exploit your social standing, but... I see. I have many contacts on the Lord's Council. I will try and pull a few strings. Thank you, Walter Quinn. Nice to have somebody high up in our ranks, huh? Lord House Redditch is not a factional concern, at least. Why you? Hey, this is a private conversation. Take your leave at once. Um, who are you talking to, my friend? You could keep it all in your head, you know. Especially if nobody else is there, you weirdo. The fuck? <laughs> <sighs> 
Well, I'll be honest, a noble woman joining our unit seemed like an ill-conceived idea at first. I understand. But now I can see the merit. We're no substitute for a family, but we're not bad company. The truth is... I had feared that the powers that would be would not allow Lady Waltzquin to join the unit. Um... But it seems they're more open-minded than I thought. Either that, or they don't really care. Got a sec? Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you, Andreas. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you need? To be honest... Well, I've been thinking that we could do some training to help raise funds for the unit. What do you think? Could you spare a little money for an initial investment? However... Do we really need to be... Uh, do we really need to raise additional funds? We do not lack for success in battle. Hmm. Well, this won't be a frivolous endeavor, trust me. I'm counting on you. Profiting from trade ensures that the unit earns its keep even away from the battlefield. Hmm. Well... Upgrade the facility? Oh, bother. Hold on. I respect your decision. It's part of a quest. No! no. The Redditch girl is rather fearsome, to put it mildly. Unbelievable! Don't you know it's rude to eavesdrop? Sorry, bro. Got a sec? Mm -hmm. To be honest, what do you think? However, all right, we're gonna do it. Count. Mm. Thanks for the help. Well, much obliged. I should get started right away. Hey. Well, I don't expect much from this, but I don't expect you to make a loss either, understood? Yes, yes. Of course. Right. Uh, one that other thing. That reminds me. If there's anyone else with ideas for improving the unit, please do what you can. Coin for comrades. Talk to the mercenary. Okay. Unlocks a new item in the shop. So each of these have their own set of unlocks. That's cool. Very nice. So maybe Lorraine's uh, sub-quest is actually kind of main quest right now. I can't really tell. Um... Maybe. We'll see. Or maybe we have to go to the map to uh, continue her subquest. How about this? Well, I've spoken with Walt Quinn. She'll be able to use her Redditch connections to pull some strings. What? Should we really be involving the daughter of a noble house in such affairs? <laughs> well, an asset is only an asset if put to use. Uh... I suppose so. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. If you wouldn't mind. We've had a laboratory installed in the room next to the shop. Why don't you visit it sometime? Oh. Well, another of Duke Henday's gifts? Yes. Just so, he expects he expects great things from us. How does that sound? You'll be able to develop new weapons. I think you'll find it very useful. I shall now explain. I am still working on the Southfield file. what fire. about? Alas, we've yet to identify the perpetrators of the attack on the House Redditch. Mm, there well. seem to be no eyewitnesses. It's almost as if we're chasing a ghost. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is really quite the pickle. Our first true challenge, one might say. It can't be. Uh, whose are these cold hard eyes that gaze so mercilessly upon me? Unbelievable. Oh, it's you, Andreas. Our star mercenary. I see. You are as well informed as they say. You wish to be the first to inspect the facilities, I imagine. Uh, no, sure. No need to not. spell it out. I rather think I've guessed the rest already anyway. Is that You are so? here to help, aren't you? With the gathering of magalumic orb materials. No. No, I was told I'd be able to develop new weapons down here. No, no. Exactly! Weapon development is precisely what I had deduced you were here to help with. What's the meaning of this? It was... The truth Indeed. is... Indeed, you see, I've been trying to create a more powerful, more stable type of magalumic orb. This is a problem? But I've run out of a certain rare ore that is essential to my research. I can't believe this. So, speak to the commander or Lorraine. I'm sure they'll be able to help you. Oh. No, no, this is not some mere trifle that can be found at market. But I must have it nonetheless. If only I had it. Lest the ultimate magalumic orb never see the light of day, of course. Then what? 
Fine. What do you need me to do? I'd expect Then no you will less. help? Marvelous. No, well, There is an abandoned uh, mine beneath Mount Coswell. <laughs> the volcano. They say the ore can be found there. <sighs> Sadly, out by the frontier, monsters abound and most ordinary warriors wouldn't stand a chance. That's but the reason. where soldiers fail, our mercenaries shall prevail. I've no doubt you'll succeed. So, I'm what do you think? quite certain of it. Completely and utterly convinced. Very well. All right, you'll have your ore, and I'll have my new weapons. Please take care uh, of it. Of course. Right then, away you go. Coswell Volcano something. No, no! The reddish girl is rather fearsome, to put it mildly. Okay. One SP. Recover HP based on the damage dealt and inflicts provoke. That's cool. Um, stun. So, basically, if I unlock this, Isolair already had this, but if I unlock this, then also, um... Rius will have it too, huh? Okay, so we technically unlock new items, right? I'm guessing that's what those little uh, gold dots are, is telling us new things. Okay, they're expensive. <laughs> They're really expensive. Okay, we'll get that for her. That's all we'll do for now. Alright, next up we have to complete the Coswell Volcano Expedition. We're going to do that in the next episode, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.